Household Robots Rock and Roll were created by master robot designer Dr. Light, and here enjoying their peaceful days. Then one day, the industrial robots all over the world went on a rampage and the world fell into total chaos. Dr. Light quickly realized that mad scientist Dr. Wily was behind the nefarious deed, but he didn't know what to do. Rock, having a strong sense of justice, volunteered to be converted into a fighting robot. Thus, the super robot known as Mega Man was born. Mega Man shattered Dr. Wily's plans three times, and world peace has been maintained so far, but history repeats itself. Dr. Cossack, a mysterious scientist, has invented eight powerful robots and sent them after Mega Man. Mega Man starts from the battle again, this time equipped with powerful new Mega Buster. And the timing on those are wonky at best. Hey everyone, I'm Eric, also known as EMC150, or just EMC for short, and welcome back to the start of an all new Let's Play, and yup, clearly, we're playing Mega Man 4. And yeah, that all new Mega Buster, whew, charge shots, are we doing this again? No, we're not doing this again. Ah, uh, yeah, Dr. C, good old Cossack. First time you see him, only time we'll see him. Although, he's kind of uh, referenced in a few other Mega Man titles, um, you know, vaguely. But, yeah. So here we go. Start of a new Mega Man adventure. Eight new robots to take down, some of them goofy, like Pharaoh Man, really? Pharaoh Man? But uh, we're going to go start with Toad Man, because... Uh, he is a real pushover. Oh, and I figured out a setup that actually allows me to hear my game audio ever so slightly while I'm recording without having to pick up on my mic, so now I'll be aware if the levels are playing the wrong music or not. But yeah, uh, just like the last game, we have a slide and... Whoa. I was expecting that to kill him and go through it. Now we have a charge shot. New to this game and continuing through all the rest of the uh, the games. If you kill an enemy with it, it will continue to just go through and hit another target. It does the same amount of damage as three pellet shots, and I have tested that. So that is the right number. Oh. And, uh, one, two, three, four. See? Charge shot on that guy, plus one shot killed him, four regular shots kill him. I know, I do know what I'm talking about. Most of the time. <laughs> but, uh, this level is actually pretty nefarious, just for these, uh, well, the wind here will actually blow you around. As soon as you jump, it'll push you back, or push you in whatever direction it's going. And so it's, uh, now that we're finally away from that, we have more water currents to deal with. And so clearly, if we're, whoa, you want to make sure you time your jumps. And uh, the currents here will push you in the way they're going, so a change of current can throw you off. So you want to be, want, want to be a little careful of that if you're, uh, if you're playing through this level. But uh, there's not a whole much left to this. The levels are fairly short, if not dangerous for the most part. And uh, that's a theme with this game. Dr. Cossack is not playing around. He loves his death traps. And by that I mean things that will instantly kill you. Whether they be pits or uh, spikes. He loves them. And there are some ridiculous sections in some of these levels. Notably in the next level actually there's a pretty, uh, pretty crazy section. 
But yeah, that guy you can only hit his eyes when they're open. That's the only place to damage him. So do your best to uh, dodge him. This, he's a little more difficult right down here, actually. We're going to fight another one. But now we have to also contend with the uh, the water current. And the, the water coming down will push you down, so you won't be able to jump as high. Not to mention the current can pull you to the side. And yes, those are uh, death pits off of the side, so you will die if you fall on them. Ah, uh, damn waterfall throwing me off. Oh, there we go. Finally. Yeah, that's about the hardest part of this uh, of this level is what we just passed here. Oh, cock. You know what? I I did not actually say any words there. That was a sound just coming out of my mouth that started with a C and had an ah in there. There was no actual word there, I swear. But uh, I knew that was coming, and he that thing always hit me the first few times going through here. Now, see this? You can just make this jump uh, if you time it right, but since I'm terrible at that, I'm cheating and doing this. And that's actually something I realized it took me three full games to get through. When I was refreshing myself with this game, I realized that if I push L2, I will cycle through my rush stuff. <laughs> L1 and R1 cycle through your powers. L2 will cycle through your rush, uh, your rush adapters, and there are also a few other things that you'll get in this game that you can cycle through with R2. That would have been very nice to know in uh, in earlier games, so I wouldn't have constantly had to go, go into the menu like this and select it and so on and so forth. And now I'm just going to charge my buster, go in with a full charge. This guy has two forms of attacks. He likes to bump into you, and he likes to do a rain dance. And uh, that's the rain... oh crap. You want to shoot him before he has a chance to actually get that off, so basically do what I'm doing here, and he'll be fine. If he starts jumping around, just avoid him. But uh, it's best not to wait for a full charge. You just want to interrupt him, and you can get him stuck in a loop like this if you're at mid to long range. Although he will sometimes jump at you like that, of course. And some input delay there. I, I hit down and jump. You saw me kind of walk to the side and jump and then die. I was trying to slide. I was, in fact, trying to slide. So I would like to call shenanigans on that, but I've had a lot of trouble with this uh, with this controller, actually. It's been doing stuff like that a lot, uh, especially lately. So I'm a little worried I might actually have to uh, replace my controller soon. And again, this is pretty much all you want to do. Slide under him if he jumps. And uh, again, don't bother waiting for a full charge, just get a shot off just to interrupt him, just so he doesn't hit you, because there is no way to avoid that attack if it starts raining, you will get hit. And it hurts. <laughs> it kind of really hurts, as I showed in that uh, that last attempt. And uh, that is Toadman. Really nothing special, just, um, well, don't have input problems, and you should be okay. And so now we get, what is it called again? I can't remember. Rain, rain flush. Really, rain flush. That's what they're calling it in this game. Not acid rain, rain flush. And of course, we get the rush marine adapter from the, you know, amphibious enemy. That makes sense, right? Okay. Well, with uh, with Toad Man down. We're now going to go after Brightman, because yes, he is indeed weak against Toadman's power. His level is a real pain, and uh, he actually kind of hurts when he hits you. Fireworks! Oh, crap. Yeah, those guys, if you kill these guys, the lights go out. So, use caution. You know what? I don't even know what I was trying to do there. I... Oh, I did not want to kill him. Oh, I call shenanigans on this. I'm going... I'm, oh! Beautiful. Apparently, if you wait long enough, the light will come back on. I was not aware of that. I was going to make a blind jump and fall to my death. All right, so these are. This is probably your first introduction to 
Dr. Cossack's sadistic uh, sense of uh, kill Mega Man. These things will jump twice in one direction and then turn around. And yes, those spikes down there will kill you. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You will die immediately if those hit you. I don't even know why I'm... Uh... Thanks, Rush. I don't remember what's up here. Well, I guess I could use that. And so yeah, your partial charge shot, that, I don't think it's any uh, any stronger than your regular shot, but I do believe that if it kills an enemy, it can possibly uh, uh, travel through and continue to hit another target. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but I believe that's how it works, otherwise what would be the point of having that partial charge, like why would you ever let that go? Alright, so now we have a split path. As you can clearly see, Beat's telling us to go to the right. But we're going to go down first, and hopefully I don't regret this decision. And, uh, yeah, so just jump across, and I'm not regretting this decision. Now the problem is, to get back across, we're going to need uh, our, our trusty hound's uh, help. Because we are not making these jumps on our own. And so, yeah, these red... Uh, those red, uh, whatever you want to call them there, as you can see they fall at the end, green ones do not, and that will be a thing later on. So that little section right there will also teach you in a relatively safe manner uh, something that's coming up a little later that'll be a little more uh, tricky. And I like the, uh, the extra life in the energy tank. Those are definitely good. Whew! Oh boy, that was close. That jump is no is notorious. It, I always think I'm going to uh, fail that jump when I uh, when I land it. Every single time, I think I'm going to fail it, and I just barely land it. I do not like that. But yeah, that's what I mean about this guy and his love of spikes and uh, death traps and pits and. Okay. Do not, do not shoot these guys. It's not really, like. <laughs> It's not the worst thing if you if you do shoot them because you will still. Oh, I knew I was. I. I ugh. Yep. But if that area goes dark, uh, it's a little annoying to say the least. Like you can still see the the platforms you're jumping fr uh, from, but you cannot. Uh, uh, you know what? I don't even know what I was trying to say. It's a little annoying, but it's. Ooh, Jesus! I didn't know those jumps. It's a little annoying, but it's not undoable. It just makes things a little uh, more difficult because you can't really see where you're going. You know what? That's actually somewhat of a safer way to do it. Don't kill him. Just get hit. <laughs> uh, are you going to drop some health for me? Of course not. Why would you be helpful? And I'm actually going to uh, do my best to not hold my charge like I tend to do in these games. Uh, that's, it was a habit of mine in my Mega Man uh, Maverick Hunter X uh, playthrough that I uh, like would very commonly hold on to my charge and I understand that it gets a little annoying hearing that sound effect over and over again so I'm gonna do my best to uh, to not actually do it but yeah this platforming here with only being able to see these uh, like those red things to, to jump on here it gets a little annoying and uh, a little dangerous so it always just seems easier when you can see see where you're going oh, oh good <laughs> I thought I may have just uh, made life difficult for myself. Alright, speaking of making life difficult for myself, I'm really hoping I don't end up using an energy tank here, because this guy, as I said at the beginning, he kind of hits like a truck. He really hurts. Or at least I feel he hurts. So, uh, the upside is it's very easy to hit him with his weakness. You just, with this, you just have to uh, concentrate on dodging him because your power hits the entire screen. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's another thing. He will freeze time and just do a bu take a bunch of pot shots after you. Well, if you manage to position yourself properly... 
Oh, God. Oh, that is bull. That is bull. game does not award you double kills in your favor. It's almost like this company is known for making fighting arcade games or something. Oh my god. This isn't an arcade game. Stop trying to take my money. Alright, well now we have to fight him the hard way. And... I really mean the hard way. Oh, because I am terrible at fighting this guy. I never know which way to, j <sighs> to jump. You know, I should have just used an energy tank. Why did I not just use an energy tank? Oh my god. Well, um, I guess I'm going to see you for uh, take three um, in just a moment. I cannot believe I did that. Great start to this. Very good start. Kind of what you come to expect from me. See you there. Oh my god. Oh, this better not turn into another quick man level. Oh. Take three. That is what I had intended to do the first time. <laughs> He's really not a hard boss. I just, I don't even know what happened that first time. I, I just sucked, that's why. That That's just, it's me. <laughs> so after that we get the Flash Stopper, I think it's called? Yeah, the Flash Stopper. And we're gonna go visit uh, a, dead a dead Egyptian... Uh, robot in the next episode but that'll be the next episode so definitely going to bring us to a close now i hope you guys enjoyed hopefully you come back and join me for the next episode where pharaoh man will meet his maker uh, you know possibly again unless he's not actually dead just mate yeah jokes me don't really work anyway until next time well you take care you here <laughs>